welcome back to another video my name is brooklyn and this is another reading vlog and today i'm just going to be reading one book and that is fangirl down by tessa bailey and i was sitting here about to start it and i thought i think i will vlog this because harper collins kindly sent me this book and i always love tessa bailey's books and i wanted to share my thoughts with you so that's what i'm gonna do so join me as i read this beautiful beautiful book i love the color i love the green um and if you don't know what this one's about it follows this girl i'm not sure her name let's see let's see let's see josephine doyle who's following wells whittaker um and he's a golf professional never thought i would want to read about a golf professional but i'm here let's see how it goes um and she's his biggest fan number one fan been there since day one and she knows it as well and he's like grumpy bad boy probably rude to like his fans and stuff um so she's still there after him being rude and then he ends up going on like a bit of a losing streak and he's having a tough time of it he can't get back into it and um she it seems like she helps him through that so i'm excited to see the relationship that's going to blossom i'm assuming between these two um and yeah this is what i'm currently reading i'm currently on sprints at the moment sprints after dark so it's getting a bit saucy with neva coda and nicole and it's so much fun i'm honestly having the best time i need to come on these sprints every single week from now on because they are honestly the best i like am obsessed with them i'm hoping i'm going to enjoy this but we shall see let's start reading now on page 100 chapter 12 um sorry 102 so i'm making some progress and i'm really enjoying it i'm getting used to the golf talk i was telling neva and coda today that i'm just pretending that it's like happy gilmore that kind of like fun golf and not the type of golf that i'm like kind of thinking about um but yeah i'm just trying to think of happy gilmore and how much fun that, that is and the yeah, I'm just thinking of that. So it's making it a bit easier to digest, but I'm really liking the premise of the story and how they become kind of like she becomes kind of employed by him. Um, and it's reading so quickly. And yeah, I'm like almost halfway already and I'm just I'm just loving it. And he is the best. Like he legit, she has type 1 diabetes, which I don't have type 1 diabetes or anything like that. But I feel like Tess is doing a really good job of including that. Like that's really quite inclusive and something you don't really think about books having. But I feel like they're doing a really good job of explaining it from what I know about it. Um, obviously, like I said, I don't have it. But um, yeah, I just, I'm really liking that. And he is she's sick of being told she's too weak to do this and like not capable and stuff and he's never underestimating her because of her condition but at the same time he literally calls her dad just to see what he can do to help her and that and he like his own little research and everything and that just is so so cute in like especially because he's like pretending that he doesn't care so yeah I love him already. I don't really like his name though, Wells. It's like, sounds like a last name, but it's his first name. So yeah, I feel like he needs another name. I might call him something else, but I'll think about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited. The contest is about to start, so I'm excited to see where it goes and how she helps him become better. Or like back to being himself. I don't know. But yeah, I love it. Hello. So I'm halfway through and I am obsessed with this book. I think this is one of my favourite Tessa Bailey books. It might even be my favourite. Uh, I can't put it down. I'm obsessed with Wells. I'm obsessed with Josephine. And I want to play golf. And yeah, 
just everything about this book is brilliant. I'm having the best time. I think they're my new OTP. I want to be them. I want to be friends with them. Um, yeah, everything about this is great. He is so good. Like, he's a bad boy. But just their banter together is hilarious. And I don't know. This is just written in such a good way. And I'm having the best time reading it. And yeah, I literally can't put it down. Like, I read this basically all yesterday. Um, and it's midnight now. But I, like, couldn't stop thinking about it. And I've got tomorrow off. I'm doing sprints all day tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to finish it tomorrow. But I needed to read it now before I go to bed. Because I couldn't stop thinking about it. And the spice is spicing. Let me just say. So that's good. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any other updates for you. Um, I can't wait to write a review on this because I'm so glad that, that I liked it. And I'm so excited that I got an early copy of this, which is just so exciting. And it comes out like it's, I'm reading it before it comes out, which just I never do. And I'm so happy that I'm doing it because this is actually really rewarding when you do that and you like the book and you want to promote it so yes i'm very excited about that but i'm gonna to get to reading because i am just so involved in this and i need to know more i need to know everything there is to know about these two and yeah i need to get back to my goals guys i do actually have one other thing to say i went searching for a playlist to listen to whilst reading this book because that's what I'm really enjoying doing lately finding a playlist that suits the book really well usually I can find a playlist already made that someone's based their picks for the playlist off that book and they suit it really well but there isn't one made for this obviously because it isn't out yet so I was thinking I could get ahead of the game here and make one myself because I'm reading the book so every time a song is reminding me of that then I can just add it to the playlist so I'm gonna do that I'm currently listening to like a romance book Spotify playlist so I think if books rem like if books if the songs remind me of that I can add that too and I can just like find some and yeah that's quite exciting because I've never made a public playlist before. This is crazy. I'm, like, I'm getting so creative here. Okay, hi, it's the next day. I'm on sprints with Brittany, but oh, this is so good. I am obsessed with this book. I can't get enough of it. I'm on page 214, and if you are going to read this book, this is literally the best. The things that come out of this man's mouth are uh, just it's giving me the same feeling as the Spanish love deception this is like my second favorite romance book of all time it's coming really close second really close second like I haven't finished yet so it could be first but like I I can't this is so good I just my god you guys it's so good I want to say what he's saying, but I can't because, like, spoilers, kind of, because, like, obviously, you know, they're going to get together, but, like, <sighs> it hasn't even, like, it's, I'll get banned on my channel if I say these things out loud. So good. So good. Okay, there's something that's happening right now that I'm not a fan of, but, I mean, if you are totally totally okay um but yeah <laughs> i'm struggling to read this little bit but i am enjoying it nonetheless even though i don't really like yeah personally i wouldn't do it but if that's your thing it's all good but yeah i need i'm like loving it still i just need to continue reading because 
I need to finish it today. I need to finish it like soon because I want to read another book at some point in my life because um, this is taking up so much brain space. So I need to continue right now. You guys, I finished it. Or maybe it finished me. That is up for debate. <laughs> this book was everything I needed in a romance and more. I did not know that I needed a golf man. I didn't know that I needed Wells Whitaker in my life and Josephine. But I did. I really did. These two together were just a match made in heaven. And the way that Tessa Bailey wrote this was so funny, so just like got my heart beating. It just made me, oh, I can't even explain my feelings for this. It was that good. Definitely my favorite Tessa Bailey book. Gonna be on my top few books of the year, I reckon. And yeah, I just, I couldn't get enough of this. I couldn't put it down. I was fangirling myself over Wells. His character was amazing like such a bad boy and the mix between him being grumpy and nice to her like it's the th like the situation is he's only nice to her and I love that I honestly love that like he is a hater of people except for her and that is just brilliant and her parents as well so green flags <laughs> um and also as I was reading, I realised that in the back it said that there was a new Tessa Bailey book coming out in summer this year, which it would be for in winter for me. But um, new sports romance because one surly single dad athlete is about to fall he head over hockey stick for his live-in nanny. Those two characters are in this book. And he's a single dad, he's a hockey player, and he is sexy. That is all I know about this man. He's very mysterious. He's obviously got some issues. Um, but his child is funny. His child was in this book too. So give me that right now. I would read that immediately if I had it on me. If it was out. Like this isn't out yet either. But if you're not picking this up on the Febu on the 13th of February, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. But you need to listen to me and get this book because it's literally my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read the next book. I hope these two are in it because I can't get enough of these. The epilogue was also so cute. And yeah, it just made me want to... Like, I don't know. The way he felt about her, the things he said to her during very intimate moments were literally the, some of the best things I've ever read <sighs> and I wish I could say them out loud but I can't because <laughs> I'll get banned forever but that is all that is all of my thoughts that is my whole entire reading experience of Fangirl Down I hope you enjoyed uh I'm sorry if it was a bit chaotic but that's just how my reading vlogs go so it's totally fine especially when I'm reading very very good romance I get a bit crazy I get a bit into it so I had to share my feelings and thoughts with you and I'm glad that I did because this ended up being one of my favourite books ever. <laughs> so that's great. Um, but if you enjoyed, please let me know. Let me know if you're planning on picking this up or anything else that you're reading at the moment. I love to know what everyone's reading to put more books on my TBR. Um, and yeah, that's about it for now. I shall see you in my next video. Have a lovely day and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any other videos that I'm coming out with and any other vlogs where I go absolutely insane over fictional men because that's what we do here. It's the vibe of the entire channel at this point. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.